So honestly, I'm pretty beat down. The New York Heat has been showing up in full force and it crushed me this last week. Not to mention the 200 miles of pounding the pavement that is really taking a toll on my legs. But we are almost done. We are coming into the tail end of this Black Lives Matter running challenge and campaign with nine days till wraps. And I cannot believe that people are still donating and following that is the most motivating factor besides the underlying cause that is driving this all. So thank you so much. This week, we are talking through mental health habits. And as we know from biology last week, all systems in the body are really connected to our brain. So if we do not have that right, we have a long uphill battle. And as many of you are following this series are privy to the layoffs that happened to LinkedIn this last week, a place that I have been employed last six and a half years, I thought the idea of mental constructs this week was extremely important. So with that, let's dive into our first topic this week, Stoicism. A Stoic philosophy of thought is easier said than done. I actually covered this in my last 30 and 30 series on mental models, which I'll largely use to cut for today's video. I have found using this philosophy of thought profoundly helpful last week and will largely lean on it for weeks to come. Let's talk about its origin, its main principles, and what sources are helpful to follow in your own practice. Stoicism refers to the school of thought first conceptualized by Zeno of Sidium in 3rd century BCE and was further carried through generations of the Roman and Greek empires by the likes of philosophers Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus didn't pronounce that correctly. But according to its teaching, happiness and fulfillment is found in accepting the moment as it presents itself, not allowing yourself to be consumed in reaction by pleasure or pain and treating each other justly and fairly. Never too high, never too low, avoiding emotional extremes. This tends to be our modern, simpler interpretation of what the ancient philosophers intended Stoicism is really a matter of acknowledging that our world is full of cause and effect. Moreover, much of what occurs to us is out of our individual, immediate control. Rational decision-making in stressful environments involves a Herculean state of mindfulness, but also courage, temperance, justice, and wisdom, which happens to be the four virtues of Stoicism. Case in point, Marcus Aurelius literally wrote the script on Stoicism in his book Meditations. All while his empire was going through the Antonine Plague, a sickness that killed a third of the population, including himself. Two sources I want to put you on to. The first is Ryan Holiday. He runs The Daily Stoic. He has written a number of books on the topic, including The Daily Stoic, Ego is the Enemy, and most recently, Stillness is the Key. His YouTube channel, Daily Stoic, is a great place to start. The second is going to any of the original sources being the philosophers mentioned before. The OGs like Marcus Aurelius and Meditations, for instance. This book is small but dense and profound. Five to ten minutes with this each morning will get you in the right frame of mind to accept anything that happens in the day. Thanks for following along. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Link to donate as well in the notes. Have yourself a great Monday.